chances are, the last time you thought about Sega Rally, you were stocking up on bottled water and canned goods for your Y2K Doomsday Shelter. Yes, it's been a long while, but Sega Rally is finally diving into the new millennium with Sega Rally Revo. Long hair man left. That's not to say that the series has abandoned its trusty arcade-style charm. It manages to balance new technology with an old feel. And the second you start to race, you'll remember exactly where your misspent youth went. Now, nostalgia is nice, but a lot has changed in the last decade or so. The Latin music craze is over. And for the most part, racing games have evolved since the 90s. But in some ways, Revo is living in the past. Visually, Revo looks shining and new. The fantastically detailed cars and environments are great, but not groundbreaking. The best and most innovative part by far is the deformable track. You'll splash through puddles and kick up mud. And while it doesn't affect the gameplay, it's still a nice addition. There's an added bonus if you're playing on the Xbox 360. You'll feel every bump in the road with the finely tuned force feedback. The controls are nearly perfect, but the invisible track barriers and unbreakable cars make it a little bit more like pinball than a realistic racing game. No offense to pinball. And while skidding through snow and making hairpin turns might give you the cheap thrill that you're looking for at first, Revo has little else to offer. The limited number of locations and tracks are a bit of a drag. And no matter how hard you try, you just can't bust up that stupid car. And what fun is driving fast and recklessly without seeing the resulting property damage? So, if you want to take a fast trip down memory lane, Revo is a fine way to do it. But remember, the good old days are never quite as good as you remember them. Sega Rally Revo gets three indestructible cars out of five. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.